guy, he'll be fine. Oh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Uh, as you know, we like to be as trendy as possible up here, so lately we've gotten into 1920s college pranks. How's it going up there, bro? I'm cold and I'm lonely. Haven't I set the record yet? Yes, if the old record was 37 seconds. Whoa, be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, gotten into some bad habits. Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, Mike, can I borrow your Mitchum roll-on, please? Sure. Oh. Sure. Do that. Whew. Remind me not to do that again, Mike. <laughs> Mike? Okay, sir. Well, I'm going for a record worth having. Now, count how many largemouth bass I swallow. Uh, okay. okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, is this someone's fish? Now, let's do it right so I can get on to the real mad scientist stuff, like pulling the heads off monkeys. No, oh, don't even. Oh. The hypothesis is, is that if one of you, say a servo, is given complete power and authority over the others... Hooray! And finally, my good people, give me all your cookies and I won't have you killed! Hooray! So we take your person in power and fill his underwear with fire ants. F -f 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 fire ants? I'm no longer fit to leave. I've come down on a sudden hunt. I relinquish my power to Mike. I'm a private citizen. You can have your damn cookies back. Hooray! And since Bobo here is my control group, had no fire ants in his underwear, we can conclude. Hang on. You said no fire ants in the underwear? Yes. Why? Damn. I gotta go change. I'll be right back. And it's a delightful Bambi romp through a flowery fairyland of happy, harmless, fruit fruit family fun for the whole family of all ages. Or is it? Um, uh, uh, Servo, uh, you got the keys to these chains? Yeah, yeah, I had them in my pocket here. I go, don't, don't. You don't have pockets. Don't. Try the Merlin chop, a half a pound of Merlin served with steak fries, vegetable of the day, and whipped dessert. Mm, the mystical wonder is that he's in a movie. I foresee I'm gonna get hammered. Okay, let's predict some crap. <laughs> Excuse my juicy belches. <sighs> she looks like an overstuffed turtle. I like turtles. <laughs> the ants have been screwing with her like this for years. <laughs> ah. Stepped into the mystical world of Parker Brothers. Kiss my hey! Tito Puente! Chatty Kathy, where you got to go, baby? The fudge stripe factory's been hit. Oh, Tonight on Old Lady Gets Killed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you got rid of Grandma, huh? Uh-oh. You better eat all the ice cream. I'm talking about... Shaft. John Shaft. Crystal balls. Mm. Enchanted stones. Mm. Wondrous objects, yeah. <laughs> something magical happens <laughs> that changes a person's life forever. Like what? Metamucil. <laughs> Look at all these gordita wrappers. What have I been doing? Look, mommy. I just know Meatloaf is gonna walk in in some big robe. <laughs> oh, the kid's sort of like a mouse. I could give it a shot. Merlin sends in his trained flatulence to scout the room. You kids, get off the grass! I know he <laughs> resents me for not being able to get pregnant on our own. Whoa, too much information. Just getting him to go to the fertility expert was a giant blow to his ego, and now... Plus the polyps in my colon. Look, I gotta go. I really wanted this baby. My sperm is top-notch. It's her. <laughs> Hello, Susan. I bet you can have a baby. How would you like to see you? No, Please. you would? No! It's one of my favorite tricks. <laughs> yeah, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bob Jackass. <laughs> Get the gun. Hmm. I'm Mr. Cooper. I bid you lick me. To believe... Whatever crap I shovel out. Why is she wearing a doggy bat on her head? For Pete's sakes, Madeline, don't encourage them. Nothing more than a rock. Like your womb. I have my own private fertility clinic in back, baby. I chew places like this up and spit them into the toilet. <laughs> so I'm going to give you one last chance. Leave these kind people alone. Otherwise, I won't continue to not have your children. You're welcome. You're Come welcome. on, let's get out of here. Oh, and Mr. Cooper. You're welcome. For whatever reason. You're welcome. <laughs> sure Do it again. You insulting my sperm count? Feed my words. Munch my shorts. The ugly guy in the movie reviews novelty stores and seedy strip malls, and he's famous! Yeah! From the moment I saw Tom Servo, 
I was taken with his gay, even naughty, bright red color. The little dangly arms, though the function was unclear, added to the lighthearted feel of the experience. Flawless? No. But I recommend this Tom Servo for children and anyone looking for a bare bones kind of robot. Insouciant, eclectic, it seems to promise a kind of excitement. Yet the overall effect becomes rather more garish than fun, and I left feeling altogether empty and sad. My second visit to Tom Servo was even a greater disappointment. Loud and overpriced, there was a thick, oily film coating every surface, and I can only hope I escaped with no serious disease. This poorly conceived disaster is revealed now as a spindly testament to poor taste and nausea. The verdict yeah. is in, and the world was not awaiting a chubby, pompous eunuch. Right, Goodbye, go. Crotee Robot. Your Pathetic, ghastly memory still holds my mind. Stupid. I spoke to Dr. Collins. Oh, yeah, what'd that quack have to say? He blamed your wiener. Typically in Latin. Dumbass language. <laughs> the rug feels soft in my back, and yet one can't help wondering whether extra padding might not be called for. I have your mites. All right, name that spell. I name it Fred. It's time for a strongly worded review of my cat, Miffy. Oh. Oops, somebody put tinfoil in the microwave. Oh, what am I saying? She's Julie Haggerty in. What are you doing? Are you trying to burn the house down? I utterly loathe you. You want to have a baby? Chuck Woolery. This is what Merlin warned me about. What do you say? Don't toy with any spells that aren't entirely there. And something about biting him. Or be for me to go against the master's wishes. I talk to myself a lot. Long monologues, complete with sarcasm. Yene Kira. It's an ancient spell for becoming a more efficient redneck. <laughs> Not you, Debbie. You can't give me a child. Hey, Mike, is that Satan's butt? Oh, no, wait. It's that guy's face. <laughs> Jonathan apprehends the unsuspecting feline and brings her to his workbench, where he tortures it and kills it. Good night. Now you're about to learn the true meaning of obedience. Yeah, let me show you the meaning of clump. Outstanding. Meow, meow, safe. Meow, meow, very safe. Boy, look at him spray. Then the devil cat grabbed his throat and pulled out bloody strips of sinew and flesh. Grandpa <laughs> Borg nine. <laughs> this is nothing compared to what you cut off me, pal. <laughs> so this is like any cat, then. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, no, the cat's got a knife, too. Oh, now that's not evil doing that. He's just a spaz. <laughs> Then the cat's flesh was roasted. Really? But no. Sit down, you're gonna listen. His flesh melted and his horrible screams. No. <laughs> the cat was made of oily rags. Honey, you okay down there? Ah, I got old and roasted the cat alive with my breath, but I'm fine. That stupid cat actually got my tongue. Now I'll have to wear a ponytail and get a Porsche and a younger wife. That bastard, he turned me into Benjamin Franklin. You know, Satan could have at least blended the edges of his bald wig a little better. Oh, no. I have dead dance in here. Oh, no. Here it is, under the scorched cat flesh. I bought the bed from Linda Blair. Riff Raff at home. Oh, big mosquito. <laughs> Not too waste to drop. Funny, I'm cooling off on the whole kid thing. There's a mouse underneath my bald wig. Oh. Good. Now she has to raise her horrible husband. That's what most wives think they do anyway. So now he's his own father? <laughs> Based on a story by Sigmund Freud. So because Jonathan was a jerk, Merlin turned him into a baby? Well, now you can't blame Merlin. Jonathan <laughs> turned himself into yeah, a baby. Yeah, I think he Merlin can. just gave him the book. Uh-oh. I farted. <laughs> you just don't believe in the mystical, wondrous powers of magical Merlin and his holy demons, Mike. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a bust. As I told you, what you're gonna get with a book of bogus spells is a... Oh, ow. Oh, I don't know what it is. I just feel real fussy. I should put myself down. Oh, Ooh, man. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm just a little colicky. Do I seem colicky? Yeah, colicky, you sure are. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone made a present. <laughs> you want to do the honors there? No! Servo's gone, and uh, he's not right in front of my face, so that means he's not coming back. That upsets me. Hm. Wham. <laughs> oh, we got movie sign. That upsets me further. Wham. 
Glad I had that reverse baby spell for you. Yeah. Are you Thanks okay? Thanks for changing me, too. Not a problem. I have a nephew. It's nothing I haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to you later. Well, better get at my husbandly duties, I guess. He's going to a staff meeting. <laughs> no. My shotgun traps didn't go off. What the hell? Hey, quit dragging tail. Get out there and be creative. Now go. Hit the pavement, you Celtic fairy. Don't I get a kiss? You get a lot more than that if you don't get out there and find that thing. Now go. So she threatened him <laughs> with sex? Which chin should I put my hand on? I love the selection here at Crap and Stuff. Oh, it's Uncle go. Pusher from next door. Wow, a smelly used toy. Yeah, uh-huh. So I don't get the Intellivision? Isn't there a movie once to feature these things, Mike? Yeah, uh, St. Elmo's Fire, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Go. But, Dad, I'm a rock and roll Martian. Can I play with it for a minute? Sure. If you give me a beer. No, don't be silly, Mother. Look, don't you dare take a cab. I'm perfectly able to pick you up. What are you, like 50 pounds now? Oh, please. Since when has a man ever noticed a plant in a house? Oh, the pork man's grandson is really bored by now. He putted around the kitchen for a while and got himself a cold drink. <sighs> yep, that first morning beer is always the best. Oh, no. That's it. Look at the monkey. Actually, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I don't. It sold shortly thereafter. Blast it. Now I gotta send you to hell. Michael? I didn't need him. Michael? Oh, oh my heart. Oh, 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 oh. Scared oh. me to death. Rock and roll Martian, I guess. Can we bury her now? Yeah, we can. Well, son, if you uh, hold the lid open, we'll bury her at sea. We'll put it right out front, okay? Yeah, next to the 15 turtles. I like turtles. Myself. You bit yourself? What an idiot. Brought to you by LSD. <laughs> Remember that kitten, Billy? That was nothing compared to this. No. At least the kitten went quick, Billy. <laughs> Back off or my lips get it. We're gonna change the dog's name to Crispy. So, Billy, the little boy who looks just like you went through terrible, irredeemable grief. As a psychic, I have an aura of a certain nature that the demon would unquestionably sense. Wake up! Get Spirits? that toy out of your house! You I idiot! That's feeling... great. Should I wear garlic around my neck, too? My God, David! I'm you sorry, moron! I'm sorry. I... And remember, David, never let it know! You stupid bastard! I could stab you in the eyes right now, so help me God! Oh, I ordered us up the whole series of Ernest Borgnine's children's books based <laughs> on the uh, movie. I don't know, I thought it might be whimsical or something. Santa's Workshop of Shimmering Delight. Ah, wow, well, this is inappropriate. Uh, here, Air and the Elf's hands get scissored off in the sheet metal crimper. Slow Bear's Woodland Picnic. That could possibly go... Could be delayed. Wow! What? Holy cow! Slow Bear bashes in Charlie Chipmunk's head with a can of pork and beans. Try Fluffy Bunny's new blue suit. That sounds Yeah, that sounds completely... Oh, my. What? 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 Oh, 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 they're God, eating what? his liver! Oh, 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 oh. Dr. What? Blood's orgy of gore. Oh, what is oh, with oh, this guy? Oh, Man, this is... Oh, I can't look. Oh, this one seems fine. In a little cozy hole in the ground lived eight plump mice. Uh, whose uh, eyes get poked out with upholstery needles? Yeah. No, they get little sweaters and live happily. <laughs> wow, weird. We'll be right back. And look, here's that dog I killed. Bye -bye. What's in the bag? Well, it's a head. Come on, kid, you're nine. Get a real bite. Look, here's another pet. Another toy. A pet. Another toy. A toy. A pet. Why couldn't the monkey arrange this from inside the garbage can? Good point. Oh, rare. Just the way I like chicken. Mm, traffic's pretty light. He should be fine. What are you doing, Dave? Oh, like you have such a great kid. Get over it. Satan subcontracts with God to arrange a storm. Meanwhile, on a dry model. What's the big deal about wet t-shirts, Mike? I just don't see the appeal. Yeah, not doing it for me either. So evil wins, Grandpa Borgnine? That's right. Even your tiny soul is doomed, Billy. Yeah, I got a crack this guy can crawl out of. <laughs> wow. No, Grandpa Borgnine, leave light and hope for me, please. Get out from behind that cushion, Billy. It gets worse. <laughs> Here's something else Satan created, Japanimation. But Grandpa Borgnine, the tree fell right on him. I know, but I wrote myself into a corner. Oh, hi, Mom. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll be right down. Don't come. I'm not worth the trouble. 
Michael, that shirt is filthy. Will you change it so Grandma doesn't think I've been falling down on the job? Okay. I'll kill another of your dogs. Grandpa Borgnine, no, please, not another subplot. It happens, uh, I own a small trinket stand across the way. I'll give you a cookie if you shut up. I don't usually accept checks, uh, but she looks uh, mm -hmm. respectful enough. Ride, Shadowfax, ride! Rock and roll truck. Grandma! Dad killed the dog. Dad, Dad. Dad has one syllable. Dad. Mm. Ah, now, time to die. <laughs> Monkey, oh. <laughs> The car coming, the flaming cat, the horrible dog dying, the mean psychic, so grandpa. Remember to believe in magic, or I'll kill you. I just feel all mystically magical, Mike. I'm gonna go and rip someone's guts out. Hey, you guys, you know how this wasn't a pieced together Ernest Borgnine movie? Well, there's another not pieced together Ernest Borgnine movie that I liked even better. It's the one I saw about a butcher. Ah, Marty. And together, pursued by an evil monkey, they lead a group of rock hard ex convicts behind German lines in exchange for their freedom. Ernest also leads a bunch of people out of a huge capsized ocean liner. I can't believe you've never heard of this. Now, what does the evil monkey have to do with. Right. Someone yeah, pledges their love from here to eternity. I, I think. You know, it's been a while since I've seen it, but the evil monkey appears out of nowhere and shouts, it's so hideous, it shouts, Mikhail! Mikhail! I think it's called Airwolf. Whoa! Uh-oh. Look out! 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 Man, I'm sorry. I'm not a very good evil monkey. I'm I'll sorry. Uh, don't tell Lawgiver, please. I'm sorry. I'll clean up everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> tell hey. her I killed your dog, please. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever. I'm Just get up. <laughs> According to your guys' scores on the schumacher Esther House cinematic pain differential, you did experience a good amount of pain. I was very pleased with the Borg 90 in touch in the film, personally speaking. The movies are only going to get worse. Because the more you hurt, the faster I get certified. Why'd you just get in the bag, please? Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> I love bags. <laughs>